Good morning, everybody. Good, good to be with you this morning. Um, it came a couple, across a couple of verses I wanted to share with you. One is John 3.16 tells us, <clears throat> For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. E eternal life. And Philippians 2, 5 through 7 says, Have this in mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself by taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men. So as we remember um, the sacrifice that was uh, uh, accomplished on the cross, we, we see that God sent Christ, his son, into the world. And then in turn, Christ accepted that directive and humbled himself in order to take on the role of a servant. And that puts us in the third leg of the equation here is that we come together to remember this sacrifice that was done for us through our faith in Christ and our belief in God, that we know that um, through his blood that we have eternal life. So to memorialize that, we come every week and we remember that through in the form of communion. So um, if you'll pray with me, um, if you give me a second, I forgot my... The important part. <laughs> so um, if you'll bow with me as we um, give thanks for the bread which represents the body of Christ. Dear Father, we uh, come to you humbly um, to thank you for loving us enough to send your son to the earth to die for us and that Christ was willing to accept that um, direction and humble himself and empty himself of all that he had in heaven with you to take the form of a human and a servant and to willingly go to the cross for our sins. We ask you to bless this bread as we remember his death in uh, Christ's name. Amen. <clears throat> 